2.14 in the morning. See if you can hear this. I know you can hear this. I can hear this too. And here's proof that it's 2.14. You see this bed head. I was asleep. And I was dreaming that I was hearing a noise outside and I looked and it was rabbits that were slinking around in the snow and I shot one with an arrow through the fence and I was out there recovering my kill and in my dream I could still hear this rabbit barking sound and then I woke up and realized it wasn't rabbits it's my neighbor's little pickanese they won't shut up so what I'm going to do is make it a little midnight snack and show you how it works to keep yappy dogs from yapping. I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we are. His snack is going to consist of some peanut butter and some crackers. So first I'm going to crush some crackers up and make some crumbs. like so. Push them up real fine. Nice and fine. Then we'll take a spoon. A spoon. Get some delicious, creamy, healthy Peter Pan peanut butter. A decent little scoop of it here. And I'm going to just start rolling it in these cracker crumbs. This allows me to handle the peanut butter without it sticking to my hand too much. So let me... I've got a nice coating on the outside. Let me just... flip it over here. And you will get a little bit messy in this process. Not, not bad. We pretty much minimize it with these cracker crumbs. Look at that. See, I'm already not sticking to it. There. And what we have here now... Mmm. That even tastes good. Besides being healthy for the little doggy. So what we have here now is a nice, yeah, good-sized peanut butter ball, just right for a Pekingese, wouldn't you say? I would say so. Now, oddly enough, he's been barking the last, I don't know how long he's been barking, long enough for me to dream about hunting rabbits. Oh, and by the way, the rabbit that I shot turned out to be a tame rabbit. He was black and white, but he was hopping through the snow at midnight, so... He was fair game. Um, but the dog has decided suddenly now that I actually got up, took the time to make him a snack, he quit barking. But you know what? I don't care. I think he's hungry. So um, let's take this guy uh, his snack, shall we? Let's go. together. Alright, here we go. Dang it. Sounds like she put him in the house and he's yapping in there. That is not fair. This is not fair. I tell you what. I'm just going to hang on to this lovely, lovely peanut butter ball. And it is lovely. I'm tempted to eat it myself. But I shan't. I'm going to hang on to it. For when this guy starts up again, which I'm pretty sure he will. I don't think Pekingese can help themselves. I don't think they have the ability to say, I shouldn't bark right now. 
It's two in the morning. Something might kill me. My neighbor might kill me. I don't think they can do that. So, I'll just leave it here on this plate. Um, but now you know how to silence a Pekingese. I've done this before, I, only because I had to. It works, trust me, it works. And they, you know, it doesn't hurt them. They get a yummy snack. You get quiet for at least an hour. It takes them an hour to lick it all off their gums before they can yap again. So, alright, if he starts up again, I'll edit this video and let you hear the silence. But, yeah, uh, you get the point. Alright, so, happy sleeping to you.